this is about travel, holiday travel. Hello there. Do you travel a lot? Have you been to Rome? London. Athens. Paris. The Alps. Africa. Or there's Norway, or Sweden, or Spain. There's Denmark, Iran, Germany, and Michigan. That's right. Michigan, USA. Michigan is instant America. A one-state package of the whole United States. A sample of everything. Surrounded by the Great Lakes, one-third of the world's fresh water. Michigan is the heart of North America, and jet airplanes have put it right on your doorstep. Or, if you prefer ships, you can sail directly to the port of Detroit. However you travel, you'll probably see the city of Detroit first of all. It's the automobile's hometown. It's an industrial giant, but it's a very happy giant. Detroit has always been devoted even more to living than to building cars. In American terms, Detroit is both historical and brand new, and it has always been a cordial international host. bridge and a tunnel link it to Canada. And morning and evening, in both directions, people commute to work across an international boundary. We believe Detroit's the American city that non-Americans enjoy the most. Why? Because Detroit and Detroiters love life, children and laughter, fun and flowers, visitors and action. Lots to do. the average Detroiter, he may be a relative of yours, because Detroiters are of every nationality. That's a fact that's celebrated year-round by our International Institute, where you can make arrangements to visit an American family at home. Several other Michigan cities also participate in the Americans at Home program. Whatever our nationalities may be, we're uniformly proud of Detroit. We've made it a big town, and we're determined to keep it pretty, and friendly, and alive.
Detroit suburbs range outward from the center of town for 25 or 30 miles. There are huge shopping centers to make life convenient. This one's the world's largest. It has more than 100 separate stores surrounded by parking space for 10,500 cars. Want to see how we build things? See the men and women who build them? Even to people who are not primarily interested in manufacturing, it's surprisingly fascinating. And it's surprisingly easy. Manufacturers of many sorts of things throughout Michigan love visitors. Love to show you and tell you about what they do. They always have. Here is a sample of yesterday's manufacturing that's still going on today. A blacksmith in a place called Greenfield Village, not far from Detroit. The purpose of Greenfield Village, only for you to see and for us to see, to make it possible to walk through three centuries of American history. Among the historic buildings transplanted to Greenfield Village is the laboratory where Thomas Edison made the first light bulb. Now, let's get out of town, because actually most of Michigan is out of town. Buses and rental cars make it easy to go anywhere quickly on our broad, swift freeways and highways, to the spot where the upper and lower parts of the state are joined by the breathtaking five-mile Mackinac Bridge. Mackinac is an Indian name. Overlooking the Straits of Mackinac is old Fort Michelin Mackinac. It was built in 1715 and served at various times under French, British, and American flags. We've done a great deal of restoration, and Fort Michelin Mackinac looks exactly as it did when it still guarded the gateway between the Great Lakes. There's an island in the Straits of Mackinac, Mackinac Island, of course. A resort of the grand turn-of-the-century tradition, still getting along nostalgically. And to keep it that way, Michigan's greatest product, the automobile, is prohibited on the island. The Sioux locks connecting Lake Superior and Lake Huron are operated cooperatively by the United States and Canada. They are the busiest locks in the world. They carry shiploads of ore and grain to American industrial centers and to ports around the world. Nearly as much annual tonnage as the Panama and Suez canals combined, even though ice keeps the Sioux locks closed for three winter months. <laughs> Out the waterfalls in Upper Michigan. This is Taquamanon, home of the Indian boy Hiawatha. Camping? Look at our state parks, north and south. Put it this way. When Americans themselves take a holiday in America, 
camping in Michigan is a favorite one. Big, beautiful, uncrowded. 11,037 lakes and 3,200 miles of Great Lakes shoreline. Where to stay? Wherever you like. Whatever kind of lodging, luxurious or simple. Hotels, motels, lodges, everywhere. What to do? Whatever you like. Look at things, or do them. Take looking first. Michigan is not just a look at. Take some of the things you yourself may want to do. Summer in Michigan. It's the season we're famous for, but spring is magnificent, and autumn is colorful, bright, exciting. And winter in Michigan was made for fun. This is our state. It's metropolitan. It's a natural wonderland. It's modern, and still it's a frontier. It's your best sample of all of America. We suggest that you see your travel agent or contact the United States Travel Service in London. Have you been to Michigan?